People who have survived an attempted murder, what is your story? Not my story but grandmother's friend was getting picked up from work by her husband when he shot at her five times. He missed four times and the fifth bullet hit the underwire of her bra. He then turned the gun around and killed himself. He had just been diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. She's alive, and was completely uninjured. She now jokes about how bad of a shot he was to miss that many times. Crazy ass story. Underwire doesn't just save boobs, it saves lives less than 3. There was not a bullet in the gun. Mock execution? What's the point of them, heard the term before never known why it exists? First time, met a guy at a bar who fell in love with the guy I was sharing a room with. He was cool and his sister was cute. Went to his place to hang out with the sister and he was gone. Their neighbor called me aside and said she saw him leave with a knife and mentioned my roommate. I ran back to see him outside our building with the knife. Luckily, we were literally moving out that day. So we just stayed inside until we could return keys and such and then bounced. Second time, shot at by fake police after a kidnapping gone wrong. Third time, gambling in pool and the player I was backing lost. I didn't want to back him for a rematch. Friend came and pulled a gun on me. Girl who worked at the pool hall took his gun from him. Edit, not sure if it counts but fourth time, guy tried to kill me by praying to a blood moon because I wouldn't listen to him talk about guns while I was working. Where the fuck do you live so I can never go there? Probably should have used a serious tag, bro. Can people please add their location? I'd like to delete some maps off my jeeps. Earth. Sounds about right. Wouldn't call it attempted murder but a pregnant woman hit me with her car when I was a kid and didn't even apologize. Kind of fucked me up for a while because the police blamed me, saying I'd be the cause of this woman's abortion. The baby survived and is around 16 years old now. Had this weird fear of pregnant women for a while. Someone tried to mug me and stabbed me in the wrong the place so I survived, didn't see his face so he got away with it. Sounds like you got stabbed in the right place. I think that's up for debate, to each his own I guess. My parents moved to Mozambique during the mid-90s, I was around 8 at the time and started going to school there, a nice private one, can't complain, my father was working for the Red Cross in Shimo so we had a comfortable life. One day, before arriving to school with a friend of mine, some sketchy guy stopped us offered a whole bunch of money to just take some small box to a white van that was parked at the end of the street, not even 100 meters away. My lucky day I guessed, it actually was but for different reasons. When I was going to go grab the box my friend grabbed me by the shirt, pushed me, and started running, screaming, something I didn't understand in Shona the local dialect. That moment was when it clicked. The moment I looked back the guy had already vanished. So. Wherever you are, thank you Shude, I will never forget you. Damn, was he trying to kidnap you? My ex was actively poisoning me to get the money my mom left me after she died. How did you find out? From other stories I've read on Reddit, most people find out when they take a week-long vacation or a business trip and stop showing symptoms of sickness after a couple days of eating non-poisoned food. Sneaking small amounts of rat poison into someone's food takes like a year to kill them, and they just display symptoms of like pneumonia or something in the meantime. Not op, or an expert, don't know if this counts as murder but. I was on my way to grab breakfast with my sister, as we left the house there were helicopters flying around outside and we didn't think much of it. We started down the road and noticed that there were no cars or people anywhere. As we were driving a car was swerving behind us and going super fast. He pulled up next to us and got out with a gun and pointed it right at my sister's face. She slammed on the accelerator and we turned down a few streets until we were sure he wasn't following us. We headed straight home and turned on the news. Turns out he had shot eight and killed two other people in the neighborhood and was later shot by police a few hours later. Edit, death toll. Holy imagine if you didn't notice him. Yeah, I should have mentioned we pulled over as he was swerving so much that he would have hit us if we didn't. So we would have noticed him either way. 
Mine's not that good of a story. I was walking down the street and somebody missed me in a drive-by. It was like that scene in the apartment in Pulp Fiction. Where do you live where people just do drive-bys? That would be in the hood of Phoenix as. It's not super common but it does happen. My dad was choking me and I had started to feel myself fade when my mom had finally come home and opened the door right on time. ETA, wow did this blow up way more than I expected. No it's not a Simpsons reference. My dad was very abusive and my mom tried to shield us kids from it. She didn't leave him for another 8 years though but he never got that close to killing me again, either. He killed himself a few years ago after a long 33 days with me trying to save him from his own demons. It was a long manipulated and very calculated experience on his part. We're doing a lot better now and I appreciate the kind words. Omg. Um, that's horrible. In so many ways. I hope you are okay. School security found the knife she brought to kill me with. She was in police custody before she got the chance. You dodged a tilde bullet tilde knife there. Some guy stabbed me in the neck while I was talking to my GF on the phone about dinner that day. So here am I with my hand in my neck stopping the bleeding trying to calm her down waiting for the ambulance. Then the police officer that came to question me said since the guy didn't kill me it didn't matter to press charges. What? So stabbing someone isn't worth pressing charges over? That was what that cop said to me. Since the guy didn't kill me the charges wouldn't go anywhere. It wasn't me but my uncle. When I was a kid, around a decade ago, my uncle got shot while coming out of a bar with a few friends. His friend got hit once in his shoulder but was fine. My uncle, on the other got hit three times. Once in the colon, lung, and heart. By all rights the shooter had gotten him and drove away. His friends rushed him to the hospital and, with a bullet lodged in his heart and blood entering his lung, he managed to survive. He was in a lot of pain for a long time, but since then he's gotten his life together and is getting married in about a year. I feel like I am very late to the party but my uncle was attempted murdered by random and pure bad luck. He was living in a high rise and some crackhead pressed every single buzzer. Someone let him in out of laziness slash not caring slash wanting the buzzer to stop. The crackhead proceeded to knock on every single door down the hallways and my uncle is the first to answer the door. The crackhead pulls out a pair of scissors and plunges them into his throat. The crackhead then nonchalantly walks out of the building and says to a passing couple, you should probably call the police because I just murdered someone. He was picked up very quickly, and my uncle survived. For a year or two before his epilepsy killed him. Edit in addition, it was a very small world, as my uncle went to school with this crackhead 30 years earlier, and knew his name to identify him. Not that there needed any more evidence in the case. After I broke up with my ex, he told me that he'll be back. Three days later, I was outside with my dog and I saw him and his friends standing outside of my house. All of them had knives. I called my friend and he was like wait until I'll get there and he told them he'll call the police and boom they ran away. What the fuck? How do those friends go along with that? Hey dudes let's go murder my ex gf hell yeah let's do it bro. My sister's adopted brother, it's complicated, had his throat slit by a hitchhiker and was kicked out of the car and left for dead on the country road. Luckily no arteries we hit. He tied his t-shirt around his throat and managed to walk slash crawl to a farmhouse to get help and survived. They caught the guy and he went to jail. New scar and a husky voice was the outcome. Velp not picking up hitchhikers for sure now. You'll never have a cool scar and husky voice though. I'm going out to look for a hitchhiker right now. I was three years old and went to this lady's house for swimming lessons. What my parents didn't know was that the lady hated boys. One day she threw me in the pool and left me to die. I sank to the bottom. I was under for several minutes. Somehow a teenager saw this, jumped the fence and rescued me. The ambulance came and I was in ICU for a week. My parents never found out who the teenager was. The lady wasn't arrested. The cops told my parents that it would cost them money to take her to court. This still baffles me. 
A lawyer read an article in the newspaper and decided to go after the lady, pro bono. She had several businesses involving kids. He was able to shut her down. She ended up as a waitress and eventually got cancer and died as a lovely parting gift. Growing up I sometimes felt like I was drowning when taking a shower or in water. I've overcame this and eventually got a scuba license and still enjoy swimming. This, now not a, teenager needs to be found. I would love that. But the teen is in his mid to late 60s by now. I posted this story already a long while back. But basically, I worked in a jail and a guy from a 1% herbiker gang tried to pay $10,000 to have me killed because he somehow got the idea that I was the fed who busted him and was merely pretending to be a jailer so I could spy on him. Don't do meth kids, the guy was bragging about it and one of the other inmates who I had saved from a heart attack with first aid didn't like that so he beat the living shit out of the guy and then told me about it. Phone call recordings confirmed that he had promised the money to two guys if they shot me in the back of the head while escorting him to court and busted him out. Federal marshals rolled them up and on his way to court I whispered to him your friends won't be joining us when we got to the planned ambush point, instead of a bond hearing he got charged for trying to have me murdered and organizing an escape. I bet that whisper felt amazing. He was too drunk to figure out how to disable the safety. You should have been a good guy and helped him in disabling the safety. You missed your points there. Yeah and helped him even more by taking and demonstrating use of the gun on him. I saw two people stab someone to death in what I assume was a drug deal gone wrong, when I was on a night walk. Spent another hour being chased and hiding in a backyard so they wouldn't do the same to me. Scary night. So I had seizures when I was younger so the fact that I remember this is amazing to me. My dad was driving my sisters and I to the new home he and my mother had just purchased like a few weeks before, when a woman who had wanted to commit suicide drove head on in my dad's lane. I remember him switching to the opposite lane a few times and each time the woman would switch as well still driving straight for a car. We didn't get it and cops were called and explained that the woman was trying to kill herself. I don't know what happened to the woman but I mean I lived. My family and I didn't have any injuries but we were pretty shaken up. I'll try to make it short. In my high school, there were six kids who always used to bully me. Once we went to a camping in a forest. They dragged me into a remote location and beat me with whatever they got. I passed out soon. When I woke up, I was in an operation theater and unable to move, to be honest, I don't know whether the operation theater event was real or a dream. After the surgery, I was in coma for three weeks. I broke nine bones, lost two toes and an eye. Took me months to get out of hospital and I also failed that grade. It took me years to forget that event. The worst part is that no action was taken against those kids as their parents were high level officers in Air Force. Fuck those kids. Didn't happen to me but I was traveling through Vietnam on a motorbike and was in a city called Da Nang and one night randomly met a Canadian guy called Mike. As we progressively got more drunk he told me a crazy story about how his business partner in the Philippines was killed by some hired killers his Filipino wife had employed. They came into a flat he shared with his business partner and put a gun to his head decided they had the wrong guy went to the other room and killed his business partner. I didn't believe him and so I called bullshit. He showed me a documentary someone made about it and it turned out to be completely true. I was kinda freaked out. Here's the documentary https colon slash slash youtube slash my mom attempted to murder me and my sister when we were younger. She was going through a psychotic episode and pretty suicidal, and I said the wrong thing that set her off. She chased us down to the basement with a knife. We ran into my room and my sister hid in the closet while I tried to fight my mom off at the door. She was trying to push it open while I was trying to push it closed. It was a back and forth struggle until she put her hand in the door, I think she was trying to engage my non-violence because she thought I wouldn't shut the door on her hand, but I slammed the door over and over again until her fingers broke. Meanwhile, my dad who was in the house finally came downstairs to check in what was happening, mind you, 
This all happened very fast and my dad has a habit of zoning out when my mom gets in her episodes, he ended up pulling her off of the door and my sister and I ran out of the house and jumped in our van. He drove around the corner and turned off the lights and we all ducked down in our seats to hide and stayed there until my dad saw her drive our other car off. What happened to her? It really wasn't an attempted murder, more like an attempt at attempted murder. I have an autistic brother who I was closer to when we were younger. I went upstairs to his room to use his computer, because our other brother broke mine. He quietly left, and I didn't think anything of it. He returned shortly after, and when he opened the door my grandma stopped him and dragged him down the stairs. Turns out, for a long time my brother had voices telling him to kill me. He didn't want to but was so tired of hearing the voices and he was just going to kill me to get the voices to stop. My grandmother had worked with mentally ill patients before, so when he went downstairs to get the pair of scissors she saw the look in his eye and knew what would happen. He was sent to some fancy hospital for the mentally ill kids in Chicago. He hated it there. I forgave him and all that, but we've never been really close after that, obviously. Edit, accidentally somehow hit send before I was done. Underscore. Somebody, I don't know who of course, came into my house late at night while I was heating up a waffle as I normally do for a snack, around about 11 pm here, I didn't turn on the light cause I ain't afraid of no ghost and he came up and fucking stabbed me in the neck. Ambulances were called and I never got to eat that fucking waffle. I seriously wanted to die then. We were arguing and he started to grab me by the arms and throw me against the wall and to the ground. After maybe the seventh or eighth time of him throwing me, he carried me by my arms to my room and threw me onto the bed. Then, he pinned me down and started choking me. I had tried to get away before it happened, but he grabbed my face and shoved me down. I started to see flashes of black and white. I don't remember how but I managed to get my feet under him and onto his chest and was able to push him off me. He was my boyfriend at the time. I couldn't believe someone who claimed to love me could do something like that. Now every time I feel even the slightest bit of not being able to breathe I picture his face. And to make matters worse, he stalked me for like 8 months after I broke up W him. He also told me if he would have gone through W it, he would have burned my house down W me in it. That guy's gonna fucking kill someone one day, if he hasn't already. Neighbor stabbed me in the chest because I hit him over the head twice with a 10 pounds weight to try to stop him stabbing his wife. However, I'm fat and the knife didn't go deep enough through my breast tissue to do any damages. Yay for being fat. He's still up for attempted murder though. Oh wow. More power to you for stepping in to save his wife. You are amazing. Yes. Very few people would step in to help like that, he's a hero. I'd love to read the long story about what happened.